Now this is a great thumbnail idea for a video we ready shot. Graham Stephan, my Tesla Model 3 regrets. I'm gonna recreate this bad boy. Here are the top 10 Tesla Model Y features I absolutely hate. Just a quick side note, I don't really hate it. I just dislike it. Hate's a strong word. Let's begin with the key. If you don't have a key, a physical key, and you want to unlock your car with your phone using Bluetooth, guess what? It doesn't always work. You walk up to your car, you keep your phone in your pocket, you get to the car, you reach for the door handle, you pull it, and unfortunately it doesn't open. I would say it's about 50-50. That's what's frustrating. I highly recommend you go on the Tesla website and buy their external key. It's worth every single penny. When I use that key, it works seamlessly. Now, if you have the Tesla Model Y 7-seater, this issue will apply to you. In the third row, there's not a lot of leg room. Yes, it's absolutely amazing that you can fit seven people in this car. But that being said, if you're in the third row, you're not going to be that comfortable for a long haul drive. If you want to adjust your side view mirrors, there are no physical controls. That is slightly aggravating. I'm old school. I like to touch things. Yes, I get it. It's a Tesla. It's modern. But after all, I still like to touch buttons. I don't want to click a bunch of screens just to get to the controls of my side view mirrors. I just want to reach over, touch a button, and adjust the mirrors. Keep it simple. Again, another manual control that's missing. With regards to ventilations, if I'm driving, whether it's in the summer or in the winter, I like to reach over and adjust the position of the ventilation. Why do I have to manage it through the screen? It would be way easier just to reach over and tilt it to the left, tilt it to the right, move it up or move it down. I would like to have the option to do it manually. I get it, we're inside of a moving computer, but still, I'm a hardware guy, and all you're giving me is a software option. Why is it that I need to connect to my Wi-Fi or to any Wi-Fi to update the software of the car? The car has LTE. Shouldn't I just be able to update the software of the car through the LTE network? Get it together, Mr. Elon Musk. Okay, I love gadgets. It's one of my vices. That being said, when I'm driving in my car and my kids want to watch a little bit of YouTube, a little bit of Netflix, why can't they connect to the car's LTE? Why can't the car create a hotspot for all the passengers in the car? I would love to have the option of a hotspot within the car. This way, anyone that's driving with me can connect our wireless device, such as an iPad or a laptop, when we go on a little short road trip. Unfortunately, this is not the case presently, but hopefully my friends at Tesla will provide this feature in the near future. Thank you in advance, guys. Speaking of lack of physical touch, the car has no, you guessed it, grab rails. Also for the elderly, my mom's over 80. She needs a little grab rail to help her get out of the car. Just a suggestion, that would be a nice option. You're welcome again. Although the entire top of the car is made out of glass, which is absolutely stunning, there is one little big issue. Do you know what that issue is? You can't open it. I like a little fresh air. I like a little sun hitting the top of my bald head. Is that too much to ask for? We have a roof, but no sun. The car has a bunch of cameras around it. Why is it that I can't access the cameras from my phone? You know, maybe I go to a restaurant and I want to see where the valet driver dropped off the car and that he parked it properly, he didn't scuff my wheels. Why not? I'm curious. 
I can see how some people might become obsessive with these cameras. They would be at work and just supervising their car the entire time. It's kind of creepy, it's kind of weird, but who am I to judge? I would like Tesla to offer this feature to access the cameras from the car remotely, but currently this is not the case. Keeping in line with the fact that I'm old, but practical, it would be nice to open the glove compartment manually. I challenge you guys to figure out how to access your glove compartment manually. Let us know in the comments below. Easier said than done. I'm no safety expert, but listen to the following. If you have kids and they're in a booster seat or in a kid seat, again, just for the Tesla Model Y seven seater, they cannot sit in the third row. I don't know all the details why, but what I suspect is there are no anchors to anchor the kid seats in the back. I only discovered this once I picked up my car for the first time at the dealership. Now, you might think I hate my Tesla, but that's not the case. These are just a few things that I wish would change on the car. That being said, if you want to see the top 10 reasons why I love my Tesla Model Y, check this video.